make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. For 13 years, we've ex been exploring the past through the Animus. Assassin's Creed is one of the landmark action-adventure titles to ever come out. And yet, over time, Ubisoft seems to have lost their direction to the point where the games are almost unrecognizable from what first came out. Let's take a look at why nothing is true and everything is permitted in Assassin's Creed. I hate what they did with Assassin's Creed. I hate the fact uh, that games just keep getting bigger for no reason. I... Desmond Miles. Desmond Miles. Anybody remember Ooh. that name? Yeah, right. Ooh. Right. So, because I played the first one. Yeah. I played the first one. I bowed out of, of buying games and being into games and stuff right around the time uh, uh, 2 came out. Yeah, so 09. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the whole Desmond Miles arc, I was like, holy crap, how are they going to do this? Because well, he's going to gonna turn in this, like, like wet his pants bartender to an assassin, and I and wanted you, to see that. Yeah, and we all did. And here's the thing is that... When Assassin's Creed 3 came out, we were expecting the culmination. Like, the Animus was supposed to be a framing device. Yes. Right? It was the, we are going to relive the genetic uh, memory of an ancestor, whether it's Altair, Ezio. Mm -hmm. um, Which I need to play 2, because I have heard 2 is just... Two, 2 is probably, at least for the time, the best that the series could have possibly been. Right. In terms of uh, the writing, the production value... Because um, I, I, even though, because I just couldn't buy the games. Yeah. I just, money. But I kept up with them. I kept up with kind of the story beats that they were going with up until I had kids. And then I just, yeah, bro, of, right. you know, and, work and. Here's the problem is, right, is that Assassin's Creed 1. We have a bartender, Desmond, abducted and made to relive the memories of Altair. And realizing that he comes from a lineage, lineage. that isn't nothing. Well, and then by 2, we, we knew that. Uh, Desmond even says that he comes from the assassin or he goes my parents were paranoid shut-ins who lived on a compound I didn't realize this shit was real sorry no um, and uh, but the um, his words not mine right and um, he goes I I didn't realize that there was any merit to this and so he gets woken up when all of a sudden the Templars abduct him mm -hmm. And then, so, he l learns to accept his identity. That's one. Which, by the way, to tie the Templars into this game, there was a lot of oh, historic... Yeah. Like, if you've ever seen the behind-the-scenes... But no, and, and I, I was so intrigued into seeing how the, this bartender was going to go from the, being a bartender to an the assassin. The ending of two. All right, so you finish Ezio's story, right? Yeah. And then you get the, the uh, Abstergo, the Templars are attacking. Yes. And Vidic, the... That's right, Abstergo, that's right. <clears throat> Vidic, the scientist from One. Yes. The really creepy guy that did all the animus tests on you. You'd recognize yeah. him if you saw him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, no, I'm there, I'm there. He, been, shows up, he shows up with an army of goons and with a hidden blade and a mix of Altair and Ezio's moves, Desmond starts taking them out. And it's a build-up saying... And three, Desmond will be an assassin. And how cool would it be if you go to, like, New York or Chicago well, or a facsimile of the... And you get to be an assassin in those... In the modern day. Because that's where I thought they were going that's with That's where it. we all thought they were going to go. Instead, we end up in 1776. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's... I heard about that. And then, what happens? Spoiler warning. Spoiler Spoilers, warning. Spoilers, by the way. Spoiler warning. We forgot to say that in the beginning. Yeah. Spoiler warning so, um, for games that are old as hell. Yeah. So when Assassin's we, Creed, by the way, the reason we forget spoiler warnings is because we don't we care. don't care about spoiler <laughs> warnings. We don't. We actually go and watch spoiler stuff to know whether or not whatever we're gonna do is, buy, worth, is doing. worth our time. Yeah, so yeah, that's why it, it, I'll get into my opinions about spoilers someday. Not uh, today. Yeah, today but, is not this day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Aragorn. <laughs> anyway, uh, you're welcome. But. No, and so, but you get a few modern day segments with Desmond, but they just act as teases, and most of the game, just like with all the others, is spent in the past. In this case, it's revolutionary uh, America. Yeah. The, the colonies still. I can't believe that they did that. And then from there, we just lose the plot, right? Don't get me wrong. Brotherhood is a fantastic game. Going and seeing historical Rome, um, when the, uh, you know, it's not... Ancient Rome, but it's the yeah, height, yeah, of, yeah, height yeah. of the papal seat. Uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. And yep. It's, it's a fascinating city to walk around, and th that's the problem. It's a marketing thing, 
is that the historical setting was always kind of one of their big ticket, you know, yeah. back of the box items, mm -hmm. right? Go explore, you know, 12th That's century. Why I bought the first one. Yeah, you can That's see why I was, Damascus, I was actively, Acre, Jerusalem. I was actively yeah. tracking the first one. I knew about it about a year before it came out, and then when Indeed. it came out, I bought it. And then two um, was in Renaissance Italy. Mm -hmm. So Florence, Venice. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, no, I know. Trust me. Yeah, I, I was tracking it. I just didn't have the money and, to buy it. Mm. And uh, minor aside here, three revolutionary, uh, the colonial revolution, the American revolution to us, should have been a fantastic setting. But they did the Forrest Gump effect where he just knew everybody. And he just he's on the ride with Paul Revere. You just never knew that. He's, uh, you know, sitting there chatting up with George Washington. You know, he, oh, he was the one that was, um, you know, at the Battle of Lexington. Oh, God. And it's just like, no, stop, stop. But that's not even the biggest problem, is that they had a yearly release schedule. Because 07, then 09, and then 2 goes through the roof, right? Yeah. Then Brotherhood, 10. Uh, Revelations, 11. Uh, 3, 12. Um, Black Flag, 13. Okay. Unity, 14. And um, about Unity, they started to figure out, oh, we can't actually do this. I think Syndicate still came out in 15, so, but don't quote me on that. So here's my, here's my question. Desmond Miles, Miles dies, right? Yeah, at the end of 3. That's so stupid. That's and so, so stupid. we lost our plot. I wanted to see that. But Rice, the whole but Rice point. It's, a, it's okay, because uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to be the biggest map you've ever seen in a video game. I'm out. I'm done. I don't care anymore. I'm yep. done. I'm out. Yep. I'm out. I... No, and, and this it is... It was like, so good. It was... The you had a plot... Because everybody was like, well, the mechanics, but nobody, because I've watched... But the mechanics are different. But hold on, hold on. Yeah. I've watched, or I have watched so many times stuff on Assassin's Creed, because I loved the whole premise of it. I don't think people understand. What... what our timer is too long. Or that we've been talking for way longer than I thought. Um... Why is our timer at three minutes? It's at 13 minutes. Oh, I can't see. Sorry. I, uh... Anyway. <laughs> sorry, the unspoken third person of the show is the timer. Because we'll go on for... Anyway. Desmond freaking Miles. Yeah. I wanted to see... Because they could still be on Assassin's Creed 47 and a half right now. I don't care. But, but wrap I, up your core prop. But I wanted to see the Desmond Miles story play out. Is this again? And it was perfect in the first game. This guy was scared. He was like wet his pants. Like, I'm just yeah. a bartender. And then you start to realize, holy crap, this guy. Wow, I actually come from something. And you start yeah. to realize, like, and, and he kind of gets that, like, what the hell? Yeah. And then he gets broken out by the Assassin's Order. Yes. By that girl that came in and broke him out, and she was missing. The, well, no, the, the, she 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 holds it down to symbolize the. No, I think she was missing. No, she wasn't. Really? Yes. Okay, maybe it was just crappy graphics on my. It part. was crappy graphics, but if you actually watch, and I have the high res PC where oh, it's at Oh, that's why. Okay, okay, she okay. holds it down. Okay. Yeah. But no, but there's, but there was so much around the Desmond Miles character exploring memories that were transmitted through his DNA, which is just a whole other that's a, science. That's a cool concept that's just a, for a sci-fi anyway. And that's the and thing I, about I've never seen it before. And that's the cool thing about Assassin's Creed. And obviously people got thrown for a loop. They got they thought they bought a historical game, but what they got was a hybrid. Yeah. A, a sci-fi yes! a, a sci-fi story with a um, historical gameplay loop. And that's what made it so good. Assassin's Creed made it was unique. so good. Made it unique. It was so good. And you know, the first one, I have some issues with their mission design. No. The second game... Yeah, they were a little repetitive. The and, second... And, and by a little repetitive, they were just... Yeah, they, they were the they same were thing. They were just repetitive. The, uh, but, the second but, game... But you know so what made that? it interesting is even though the missions were the same, you went to the different areas. And I'm sorry, unlocking Damascus and seeing Damascus and that, for the that, first... That, oh. that, like, anthem where you get that slow drum beat and then the oh, trumpet start blaring every time so you enter. So Good. good. And so this is where I'm at, right? Is that why is it that we have sacrificed actually telling a story for the sake of biggest map? Like, you know, and, and you I know, don't know because I don't want to buy the new one because. And they're like, really? Desmond Miles died like a decade ago. That's cool. And but all that the, was the story. And all the retcons. Uh, they, got, was, they got so far up their own. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't yeah, whistle like, on it. 
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, but the uh, I can whistle, just apparently not right now. Yeah. Um, but they got so far up that yeah, well know, played. The internet will remember that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what is this a Telltale game? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but um, no, it's. All of a sudden, you know, because one ended with the piece of Eden activating, and it had, like, I think a map of the board. Which, what the hell happened with well, that? Well, two had a one up that, so now you talk to a holographic project projection of Minerva. All right, we're still going, okay. Well, then it turns out that they're an ancient precursor race called the Isu that enslaved humanity and used them as genetic slaves and servants, and then they rebelled using the pieces of Eden. Stop. Just stop. Could we not have just stop. said... The pieces of Eden are some ancient super weapon. Hold on. Uh, and Desmond Miles has to figure out through tracing his ancestry how to stop the super weapon. And then guess what? They, you know what they could have done? Yeah. You know what they could have done? Yeah. They could have wrapped up like the Desmond Miles story. And then they could have done like his daughter. And now his daughter has to figure out. Or even out. you set up an entire order. Just give us other assassins. Yeah, but and then we get the family lineage thing because Desmond's story is done, but but the mission's never over, right? Because evil never stops. No, oh, indeed. And so and so now, and so now Desmond goes, "I don't want you to go." What I went through, and she's like, "Dad, why are these people after me?" And he's like, "Crap." Okay. Yeah, you could have done something like that. You could have done anything to continue I'm actually, because okay. it was a family story, right? Because the premise was a family story. Because Desmond was a descendant of the assassin. So at some point, so that... keep the descendancy going. Or yeah. the, the descendancy. The lineage. The lineage. Yeah. Descendancy, lineage. I'm making up words at this yeah. point. <laughs> but I don't think they know what the hell they're going for at this no, point. No, and to Ubisoft, and this is teased in the intro, nothing is true anymore. We can retcon whatever we want as long as we can do. It's like, uh, what is the key thing about the Animus? It's the genetic memory. Well, in an Odyssey, your uh, character can be homosexual. But yet you have to have a kid, otherwise... Otherwise it doesn't, doesn't continue. continue. And so, you know, and the, everybody around just facepalmed on that one. It's just like, you guys don't understand your own fiction anymore. They wanted to give the freedom of choice of an RPG without actually to stop and think about their own world. And what would be so Well, but wrong? how many times has this happened? Oh, far How too many. How many times has this happened? Far too many. How many times? Because there were games that I was like, oh, I was really excited for. I'm sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go way back. We're going to go in the way back machine right now. Oh, uh, we're going in the way, way, way back, the before time? Yeah, the before time. Back when the sun... Fabled. Bright. Oh. Fabled the Lost Chapters. Yes. I hated Fable 2. I know you did. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. They lost the plot. They didn't know what... The... Mm. They didn't know what they were doing. You know, you know what's sad? You know what's sad? Than Fable you know, 3. You know, you know, and I didn't <laughs> play it. Because you told me you're like... I didn't know you were gonna hate Fable Two that much. Do not I, play three. <laughs> I, you were like, don't, don't do it. You know what's sad? The only game that can keep some sort of continuity now—that's Big World. Mass Effect. No, no. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. But yeah, but Grand how can Grand Theft because Auto? Because it's episodic. It's episodic. Four does not relate to five. Does not relate to three. Does not relate. Really? To because address. there's a really good chance Tommy Versetti might end up in six. Tommy Versetti from 3 and Vice City. Damn you, Rockstar. You <laughs> undermine my argument. Um, there's, but, a, there's a lot of speculation. No, they're right. connected. But worlds. how? They, how? They are connected. How is but Grand they're... Theft Auto more connective and more conducive than Assassin's Creed? Because Rockstar actually cares. And that's yeah, actually one yeah, thing. Yeah, just look at the release schedule, right? Is that, what does Grand Theft Auto say? We have the most believable city, not the biggest. They do a game every, what, half decade? That's true. Well, it's been six, five or six years. Well, um, franchises at least will be a half decade. Because keep in mind, I think uh, RDR, yeah. Red Dead Redemption 1 came out in 2010. Yeah. We didn't get the sequel until 16, 17? Yeah. 18, even? I, I don't remember the release date. It no, was, no, it was last year. 19, wasn't it 19? I think it was 18, actually. No, I thought it was 19. PC, maybe. Um, but it's recent. It's super recent. It was eight yeah. years it was I, no, because you were just playing it. You bought that thing on release. Late, that was late. No, oh, I bought mine late. Um, how, and then how, GTA. Keep in mind GTA Five, which is still in the gaming, you know. Oh yeah, Stratosphere. Yeah, came out in 2013. It's been re-released on new consoles. So, but why? But it's been so. If GTA which just releases, goes if to show if GTA Co Six releases next year, it'll be eight years between five and six. If if and Ubisoft did one a year. If Grand Theft Auto has a more connected and more grounded world than Assassin's Creed, 
maybe you guys shouldn't be releasing a game every year. Because I'm sorry, the Mass Desmond, two. the Desmond Miles story was the story that I wanted, and I was going to buy the games. And I looked into it because I was going to spend money. I was going to buy a system. I had a young family at the time. Yeah. I was going to get back into this. And then I looked into and talked to people who play the games, and they go, "Don't." Yeah. And I'm like, "But what about?" And and I explained to them yeah. the Desmond Miles thing, and I just just don't. And and then they told me, and I was like, "Wait, what?" And then I met you, and then you and I have talked about this extensively. But Royce, the internet hated the modern thing. They just wanted to be cool assassins in the past. No, they didn't. That's what Ubisoft thinks. Uh, that's why the modern day thing got you know. That's why set Ubisoft by the has royally screwed a few of their franchises at this point. Oh, pretty much anything that's not Rainbow Six. Yeah, what I think Far, that, Cry, Far Cry got that screwed. took a redo. <laughs> yeah, Far Cry got screwed. Watch Dogs, they ain't doing another one of those probably, unless it's a reboot. Uh, yeah, that's actually probably what they're going to do. It's yeah. been teased. That, yeah, that, no, yeah. I'm sorry. They keep screwing their own. Actually, Watch Dogs Two is pretty good. I want to play the Watch Dogs series. Yeah, it's Watch Dogs Two is pretty good. It's intriguing, and you know what? There's and well, and uh, 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 the channel, uh, the Game Theorists. Oh, with the interconnected, with the interconnected yeah. universe. I'm like, if if they realized it and they would do it, and they would say, hey, these Easter eggs aren't just Easter eggs; they're actually this connected universe that we're going to do. I would probably buy it's whatever. The time hell. for it after the MCU. Everything is a connected universe now. So, I just don't get it anymore. Why do these game studios not understand their selling points? I don't know. And this is the thing that I just... And I gotta imagine it's on the marketing side. Where they think that bigger equals better. And I remember when I first looked at the map of uh, AC Origins. And I love ancient Egypt. I read yeah. a lot about Egyptology. And I, you know, I uh. still have several books. And so, for me, being able to explore a very faithful uh, rendition of ancient Egypt... It's cool, but when it takes me 20 minutes to ride my horse from, you know, Giza to this other point in the map, your map is too big, especially if there's nothing in the middle. It's just empty space. Stop making big maps. Stop making thousands of side quests. And stop filling up my map with a bunch of pointless collectibles. Bigger is not you know, better. You, you know what happened? Tell a you story. Know what happened? You know what happened? Is gamers said, we want more time in the game. That's exactly what they said. And longer they, is better. It, yeah, the yeah. Longer is better. And so... When game developers sit there and they go, well, we need to figure out what... Uh, well, we need to make the map bigger. And they just go, dude, just fill it with empty space. Because I've played some games like that. But put some collectibles that mean nothing along the way to make it feel like they're doing something. No, I ain't going to do that because it's just longer. It's longer. It's... What happened? It's I'm padding. sorry. It's padding. I went through Uncharted's 1, 2, and 3. And it don't take more than, if you're competent at the games, four or five hours... To go through each one, and there's still some of the and most they are weird games. Phenomenal! They're part of my favorite game series. They are literally because it's told I, I, a story. It did because yeah. again, I have Fable: The Lost Chapters. Yeah, I have Knights of the Old Republic one and two, and then I pretty much have Fabled. And then Fable, Assassin Fable, no D, uh huh, no D, Fable. F A E. Yes. F A B L E. Wait. Fable. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Anyway, but no, the Lost. I have the Lost Chapters. I have Kotor one and two. I have essentially Assassin's Creed one, and then after that, oh, well, and I guess Halo is obviously up there. Halo, Witcher. I know you haven't played well, the Witcher have, games, but I haven't played those. But that's what yeah. I'm saying is like, I have these are my favorite games, and why? Not because it took an exorbitant amount of time to play them, but because they told a damn good story. And that's the thing about Witcher three, and this is uh, kind of the curse of, you know, something does something really well, so everybody tries to copy it. Mm -hmm. The Witcher three did open world RPG so well. And had such good side quests, writing, characters, and plot. Mm -hmm. But it was really big. And so what do these people take away from it? Oh, it was really big, so it had to be good. They don't put the time into the characters. And CD Projekt Red, being a Polish developer, adapting a Polish book, probably one of the most Which premier, they're going to do what? Uh, Cyberpunk? Uh, 2077 uh, yeah. now as well. But these people care. They actually care about their properties. They want to make sure Geralt was Geralt, Siri was Siri, Triss was Triss. And, you know, I know some book purists say that it's not perfect, and nothing ever is. It's still an adaptation. But they told a good story that began in Witcher and ended in Witcher 3. But Witcher 3 was not just because it was a big map. It was a big map that had a lot to do. You could take on hunting well, monsters. Like you, you could so take side quests. You have so story, and you go, go, guys, we well. can't fit the story in this map. I'm sorry. I will say this. I think, you know, uh, 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 Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's another one. That was a massive That's map. That's another one. But there was... 
But there was so much to that map. There was a lot of story. And they said, guys, if we're going to have a story this big, we need to have a map this big. And Witcher was the same and way. They Assassin need to start Assassin's Creed. No. Just lost the plot. They lost it, dude. I wanted to see the Desmond Miles story so bad or the modern I just day, wanted it to make because sense. Because it would have been really cool had the, in, in my own head canon, the Animus affected him. And like mid-mission, like mid-mission, you kill a guy and all of a sudden Desmond Miles, he freaks out and it glitches and all of a sudden now you're playing a memory. It does that in two. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Is like, no, it does that th- in Yeah, two. I know. I know. But that's what I wanted. To, more of. I wanted more of. Yeah. I wanted that to become, and then all of a sudden Desmond Miles turns from this, this mild-mannered, wet-his-pants bartender to, an, to a full-blown to an assassin. assassin. And, you know, they don't respect their own fiction. They don't respect their own universe. And they think that they can get away with it simply because they made the map super big. Not looking forward to Valhalla. Might check it out. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching and drink with Crazy Star. We're really passionate about this because we have we have a lot of hope for a lot of the franchises that we follow. Uh, if you guys like this discussion, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can support us more, which I think just says the same thing that I did now. But who cares? Because, you know, it is what it do. Because nothing is true. And everything is permitted. Nothing is true and everything <laughs> is permitted. That being said, it's always permitted for you guys to go down and let us know what you guys think of what we are, uh, of our conversation. So comment down below, let us know what you guys think, and we will see you on the next A Drink With Crazy. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.